Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create the simple loading animations inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tricks. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as main animation like this. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second long and background color is white color. But because we are going to create loading animation, so we will take less duration. I'm going to choose 10 second only and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title section. Now I'm going to create my ellipse tool over here and we are going to start with our first animation. So let's choose black color for it now. And by holding shift, I'm going to create one ellipse. Let's select this, press Control Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now select this, press P for position and we will bring this somewhere around over here. So let's make this 800. Select this, hit Control D, press P and let's increase the 300 value in it so i'll add plus 300 or uh, instead of that let's do one thing we will add plus 200 and let's see where it goes yeah now select this again hit ctrl d press p and let's make this plus 200 again like this now select all of them by hitting ctrl a and we will bring this properly at the center now right click on the position and choose separate dimension now we will create one keyframe each now let's go to around one second and now i want this ball should come over here so i'm going to select this ball first and i'll copy this keyframe so i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this once and i'll hit ctrl v like this so if you see we will get something like this and in middle of that we are going to select this and we will bring this over here okay then go somewhere around over here now i'm going to select this ball and I'm going to create one keyframe over here then go to around say, two seconds and I want this ball should come at this place so I'll select this one and I'll copy those keyframes and I'll hit ctrl C I'll select this one and I'll hit ctrl V and in middle of that I'm going to bring this value downwards so if I see this now I'll get something like this and then this then we, this third ball should come at the start which is over here so I'll select this keyframes I mean select this ball and I'll copy the initial keyframes and I'll hit ctrl C I'll go around two seconds I'll select this and I'm going to create one keyframe then I'll go to around three seconds and I'll hit ctrl V and in middle of that I'm going to select this and let's bring this upward like this so we will get something like this okay now let's delete all the uh, initial keyframes we don't need that except for this one now uh, let's uh, do one thing we are going to select by holding shift i'm going to select this y keyframes only and let's hit uh, f9 then we'll go to the graph editor uh, like this then go to the graph editor over here let's select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here go to the start select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you see we'll get something like this zoom in a little bit if you want you can select this and adjust this over here you can select this and adjust this over here then select this let's move this over here select this and let's move this over here select this and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay then select this and let's move this handle over here select this and let's move this handle over here select this let's move this over here select this and let's move this over here so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this okay and that go over around over here and if you hit n over here as you guys can see we are getting this animation in the form of loop okay 
so this is our first looping animation let's hit control and to create another composition i'm also going to call it as main animation let's call it as two and over here i'm going to increase the duration up to 20 seconds and hit ok now we will uh, start with this animation so for this one what i'm going to do i'm going to create my one ellipse and we are going to increase the size of this ellipse a little bit for this animation and select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and uh, let's move this somewhere around over here then select this hit ctrl d let's bring this downwards select both of them hit ctrl d and let's move them over here and let's bring them at the top okay now select all of them and press p for position to create one keyframe go to around one second and let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to around one second we will create another keyframe go to around three seconds and i'm going to create one copy this first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v sorry like this so initially this goes over here then uh, let's select this one and let's move this over here oops uh, i think we will adjust it hit u let's move this over here and let's select all of them and let's bring their things up to around over here like this okay and now we will select the last two keyframes of each and we will bring them a little bit over here so if i see this now i'll get this animation something like this then we will take a distance of five frames and then i'm going to select this hit ctrl x ctrl v ctrl x ctrl v ctrl x ctrl v go over here ctrl x ctrl v now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this zoom in a little bit by holding shift we are going to move this handle over here and we will move this handle over here so if i see this now i'll get something like this and by holding alt uh, let's uh, go to the start select all of them and by holding alt i'm going to reduce the duration of it let's say up to five seconds so i'll get this kind of stuff okay and if you want then you can select this hit ctrl x ctrl v go over here and we are going to adjust it like this okay so we will get a little bit of difference okay so this is how you can adjust and if you want you can select them and instead of taking a gap between them you can simply move them over here also it's totally up to you let's go over here and hit n now after that uh, hit u right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply tint effect on it not certain effect sorry let's apply blur effect and let's apply gaussian blur increase the blur value go to the effect and presets panel and let's do one thing uh, we are going to apply simple choker effect and double click to apply and we will increase this choking amount like this so we will get this kind of stuff now after that we will select go to the uh, hit u let's go somewhere around anywhere uh, like this one only select this one and hit ctrl d hit u and let's delete those keyframes so what will happen one is going to be at the start and press s and let's increase the size of this like this and let's select this adjustment layer and we are going to increase the choke size and blurry value also select all of this press s and let's try to increase the size because i want the should be a connection between all of this so let's select this and let's increase the size of this one so i'll get something like this okay now hit u and let's select this animation and we will increase the distance up to six seconds 
and hit n like this okay right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null go to the start press r create one keyframe go to the six seconds and let's make this one complete rotation okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this so this is our second animation now hit ctrl n to create another composition i'm going to call it as main animation 3 and over here we are going to follow the similar procedure so simply select our ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse over here select this press ctrl alt home uh, go to the not let's not go to the align tab over here at least for now but enable it and let's try to adjust the position select this hit ctrl d press p and we will bring this downwards select both of them hit ctrl d let's bring them upward press p and we will simply move them over here select both of these layers and try to adjust their position properly okay select both the layers press p for position create one keyframe then press s to create another keyframe and hit u go to around one second over here let's select both of these layers uh, let's select all of these layers and let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now select this layer and let's try to adjust the position of this one because this is at the downside so it should be over here then this one uh, what we will do uh, we will copy the x position of this one and hit ctrl c over here we will hit ctrl v and also we are going to increase the size of it like this and we are going sorry we are going to change the y position somewhere around over here and let's increase the size of it also select this one and let's move this over here and bring this over here and also increase the size of it like this let's select this one and bring this over here and let's bring this over here and also increase the size of this one also adjust the size a little bit now select those keyframes and hit F9 so if you see this now we are gonna get something like this then go to around 2 seconds or let's say 1.5 frames select those keyframes hit ctrl c ctrl v select this and we will follow the same procedure select those keyframe right click keyframe assistance and choose time reverse keyframe like this now select those keyframe go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here sorry hit f9 again uh, we will adjust this handle properly like this and then like this so we'll get something like this now hit page down button three times select this move this over here again three times again three times and try to adjust the position and select all of them and hold alt open square bracket to trim this over here so i'll get something like this and then something like this okay and select uh, all of these layers and by holding alt i'm going to change the duration up to four seconds now after that right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u and go somewhere around over here and let's rotate it somewhere around 180 so i'll get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so we'll get something like this then at this point create one keyframe then go somewhere around over here let's make it 360 degree then select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here 
so if you see this animation now you will get something like this then you will get something like this and hit end now after that uh, let's select all of these layers press ctrl shift c and we are going to uh, call it as animation and hit ok let's select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for eco effect and double click to apply and let's increase the number of echoes to 20 and eco time over here instead of 0.033 i'm going to remove this first three over here and type zero over there and so if you see this now let's make this cut resolution you will get something like this stuff so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation over here now what you can do over here if you see uh, let's select this first one uh, you can change use a uh, different colors for this animation like uh, you can uh, inspired by let's say google colors or any color you want i'm going to pick up some random colors you can choose whatever color you want but uh, one thing that you need to understand that uh, last colors of this one should be equal so make sure to note down that so select all of them go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and over here i'm going to create one color over here go to the fill create one keyframe over here let's go down go to the fill effect and create another keyframe and hit u okay and hit u uh, like this select this and hit u then go to the last one and we will create one keyframe at color of each and every one like this and then uh, what you can do over here is uh, you can switch the colors for example you can select this hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v uh, or sorry uh, select create and hit ctrl v over here so what will happen it will change the color and you can copy this color code hit ctrl c uh, select this one create one keyframe select this keyframe and hit ctrl v like this uh, over here and over here or instead of that uh, i would suggest uh, manually choose different color over here for example green over here you can choose purple maybe or over here you can choose you know uh, you can play around with this stuff and then uh, you can adjust the position of this color keyframes over here so you will get different results but at the end of it you will get something like this same thing you can follow over here also uh, right now they are different colors but uh, i mean one color so but so you, if you want a specific color you can choose that also so you will get this kind of stuff and uh, i think over here uh, we don't need to animate the colors also if you want because it looks discontinuation so you can pick up one color also so let's do one thing i'm going to delete this color because i don't think the color looks good to it so, uh, so let's select all of them and we'll pick up one color for all of them okay like this and also same you see hit ctrl a and enable their motion blur over here also uh, we have to enable the motion blur like this so you will get this kind of animation go to the over here also you can select this you can go to the effect and presets panel and instead of that go over here select this colors sorry mm, for this one i'm going to pick up this color this one i'm going to pick up blue Over here eco operator choose maximum so what will happen you will get something like this so this is how you can create this kind of three looping loading animation inside of after effects